Hello and welcome to this video. I'm Nahid Akhtar and in this video, I'm going to show you how to connect a Google Form to a Google Sheets spreadsheet. Now we know that Google Forms lets you use forms to collect user inputs, right? You can use it to conduct surveys, get users registered, take quizzes and so much more. But you might want to further process the data that you collect with your Google Forms and perform some sort of analytics maybe. Now Google Forms does allow you to obtain a summary of user responses through the Responses tab. Right? You get a summary. But you don't get all the analytical capabilities of a proper data processing application like Google Sheets. So connecting the form to a Google Sheets spreadsheet can be quite advantageous. Doing this transfers the data submitted to your form directly to the connected spreadsheet in real time. So data in your spreadsheet is always up to date. Let's see how to connect a Google Form to a Google Spreadsheet. There are two ways to do this. You can either create and connect the spreadsheet from Google Forms or from Google Sheets. I'll show you both ways in this video. So let's say you have created this form. This form is a simple one that just accepts the username, date of birth and email address. To connect the responses of this form to a spreadsheet, click on the Responses tab and then click on this Google Sheets icon here. You could also just click on this, this ellipsis and then select, then click on select response destination. Both ways give the same result. You will then see this dialog box where you can specify if you want to create a new spreadsheet or if you want to use an existing spreadsheet. If you want to create a new spreadsheet, you need to specify the name you want to give the new spreadsheet. It's also important to note that even if you choose to use an existing spreadsheet, Google Sheets is going to create a new tab for you in that spreadsheet that this form is going to connect to. So for example, if you already had a spreadsheet like this and you opted to connect the form to this workbook, then see what happens. You get a new tab in your sheet specifically to collect the data received from this form. Why do I already have data here? Because this was the data that was already entered in this form beforehand. But I don't want to connect this form to an existing spreadsheet. I want to connect it to a new spreadsheet. So let me just unlink this form. All right. And now let me connect it to a new spreadsheet and I'll call the new spreadsheet my registration info. Click create. And you can now see the newly created tab and Google Sheets automatically updates it with the fields from the original form. See, you have name, date of birth and email address. So now that we have the integration ready, the connection ready, let's test out this connection with some new data in our form. So I'm back in the form and to enter data into the form, I need to go to preview and here I can enter the form data. Let's say I want to enter the name Robert Cross, date of birth 4 12 2000, and email address robertcross at gmail.com. This is just fictional, all right? So after I submit the form, I can see that all the data that I had entered in the form got automatically updated in the right columns of my spreadsheet. So our connection is just fine and it's and our data is up to date. So this was the first way to connect Google Forms and Google Sheets. The second way is creating a Google Form from a Google Sheets spreadsheet. So say we have a blank new spreadsheet open and I want to connect this to a form. Simply click on Tools, Create a New Form. And there you have it. A new form is created and you have a new tab created in your spreadsheet called Form Responses, which is connected to this form. Let me just enter two questions in the form, okay? So say I say, do you want to subscribe? Yes no and I add another question just for name that's it 
So my form is let's say ready and now if I go back to my spreadsheet, go to the form responses tab, you can see that I already have the new fields included as column headers of my spreadsheet. So I made the changes in the form but these got automatically updated in the spreadsheet. You can now continue refining your form and then your users can start entering data which will automatically get updated in your connected spreadsheet. So these were two ways to connect Google Forms to Google Sheets. Quite easy but really powerful and efficient. I hope you try this yourself and see how much it speeds up your data entry step. Also, your data remains safe from accidental changes or deletions that can sometimes happen when you directly handle spreadsheet data. Well, I hope this was helpful for you. If you liked the video, do hit the like button. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you and have a nice day.